Hello out there and uh, welcome to my channel. I found this Indian the other day hidden away in a box. It's one of my early built experimental Indian. It's uh, one cylinder, a post piston, two stroke engine built in 1987 as I recall. The engine has not been running since 1987, so let's see if we can bring it into life and after 35 years start it and get it to run. But first I will explain a little about how the engine is constructed and how it works. By the way, this engine was mounted on a bike and this rubber roll was attached to the front wheel tire just like a wheel of sole legs. The bike ran quite well except for the noisy exhaust ports. The engine has no muffler. The construction of the engine the engine has, instead of a crankshaft, two pair of eccentrics, one pair on each side of the engine. The eccentrics is by mean of connecting road connected to the two pistons. Two connecting roads for the top piston and two connecting roads for the bottom piston. The connecting rod's small ends has tiny roller bearings for the piston pin and uh, the piston pin is made floating in the piston so to speak to align small deviations in the construction. The top piston only takes care of the exhaust ports. Yes, that's a piston. And um, we have two exhaust ports on this side and two exhaust ports on the other side. The bottom piston takes care of the suction of the air, fuel mixture and the scavenge ports. We have a plug inside the cylinder in line with the carburetor, a plug to separate the suction chamber for the piston. This same plug has a check valve that's connected via a channel to this simple carburetor. The carburetor is, as mentioned, a rather simple setup. We have a needle valve, adjustable needle valve for the fuel and a valve for the air fuel mixture, adjustable and a fuel tank. The rather long cylinder is mounted and supported at the bottom of the frame. At this area we have a brass tube. It's meant to cover or seal the scavenger port that's machined in the cylinder liner. At the top we have the cooling fins. It is a separate made part and it's pushed over the cylinder liner. The engine has high tension ignition with the spark plug and the ignition coil and 
we have the breaker point it's mounted on a plate that's rotatable meant to adjust the ignition timing and we have a battery box this one it's meant for four one and a half volts batteries in Syria which means six volts and yes you might have been wondering how I had mounted the flywheel to the shaft with all those set screws and bolts but I can tell you it was really a challenge to secure the flywheel to the shaft first I filed one flat on the shaft and used one set screw it was enough then I filed another flat and another set screw still not enough then I split the hub and clamp it to the shaft by means of two bolts and that did the trick and it looks terrible and now it's time for a test run I had clamped the engine secured to the table I have fuel in the fuel tank I have had the spark plug out for cleaning and uh, tested it and it has a very nice spark so um, on with the ignition let's see what's happening nothing happening let's give it a shock prime to see if it would help Little much, too much more shock, I think. Again, on with the ignition. run that's all for now thank you very much for watching and bye bye